And good morning, YouTube. Well, the Internet of Thing is pretty lame. We did all that work in the last video to build a serial gateway that does nothing. Let's give it something to talk to so we can add an S and get the Internet of Things. Digging through my part supply, I found this DHT22 humidity temperature sensor, and that's perfect to build the my sensor's humidity sensor. I grabbed an Arduino Nano, this one with the CH340 USB to serial chip, and an NRF 24L01 radio and a capacitor, and wired it up exactly the same as the serial gateway. And any flavor of Arduino will work. The 3.3 volt Pro Mini is a good choice if you want a battery powered sensor. I find connecting the seven radio pins first works well as they are connected in order on the ribbon cable. And then you can connect up the other ends to the Arduino because they kind of go all over the place. Finally, wire up the rest of the sensor. In this case, I soldered the three wires to the temperature humidity sensor and then used the DuPont connectors to hook them up to the Arduino. The DHT22 has four pins, but pin three is not connected, so wire it up like the DHT11 on their web page using pins one, two, and four. Now grab the humidity sketch and compile it. You can enable the debug output by uncommenting that line in myconfig.h. I found I had the ground and signal pins swapped when I connected to the Nano and I saw these failed reading temperature from DHT errors. So I swapped the pins and that sorted out that problem. Next, we have to pair the sensor with the gateway. So go to the My Sensors plugin right here and hit the Start Inclusion button under Settings. I found my gateway wasn't working right and the Stop and Start buttons wouldn't stay selected. I think this was due to having the debug mode enabled in the serial gateway code. Since the Nano talks to the Vera over the USB connection, I think that debug traffic caused the communication to get messed up. Okay, assuming the gateway is working, hit the start button, then reset the Arduino sensor and you should see found three sensors message underneath. I've already done that. Then wait for the one minute inclusion time to finish. Then the Vera should restart, so wait for that to finish. Then reset the sensor Arduino again to initialize the devices and variables in Vera, and you should be up and running. So in this case, the humidity sensor creates three devices. One is the parent node, named Arduino Node X, so the, the number here will increment with each node that you add. Then there are two child nodes, one for humidity and one for temperature. Different sensors will make different numbers of nodes. I've noticed some issues with the temperature units. The sensor debug output is showing in degree C, and that number shows up on the Vera screen, but labeled Fahrenheit. Now you can change the metric imperial setting down here, but that doesn't seem to have any effect on the units displayed. So I found that if you want to change the units, change that before you include any of the temperature sensors, and then they will pick up the correct units after that. For Debugging, you can have a serial gateway connected to a USB port on your PC, then set up the second sensor on a second USB port or a second PC. If you have a mix of FTDI and CH340 Arduinos, the COM port assignments are different between the two versions. You can see this is COM4, this goes to my CH340, and if I had an FTDI connected, it would be on COM3. Then you can connect the serial monitor to either of those devices and watch the messages. This is from the temperature sensor. 
and then the sensor periodically sends this data packet to the gateway and if you were watching the gateway it would receive that data. Pretty sweet that you can hook up 10 wires to a couple of small modules and have a working IoT sensor up and running in a few minutes. And this is fully integrated into the home automation system. So for example this is data mine and I can log the temperature and humidity over time and I can zoom in or out. I can look at the last day. I can look at the last week. So here's where I change from Fahrenheit or Imperial to metric units on the temperature. And you can use the temperature sensor to control heating or cooling devices in your house. My plan is to try and add the TTL serial output data from my HVAC airflow meter into this sensor. That way I can log the temperature and humidity in the room plus the temperature and air speed of the heated air coming into the room from a duct and compute the heat gain. I've made a few videos last year about characterizing and tuning my various solar heating systems. Currently that's all done with discrete readings. That means I need to manually read this meter and record the data and then read a separate thermometer and record that data and then repeat it periodically. With the My Sensors device I could make a change to the system and then log this data all day long and see if there was an overall effect. So feel free to post up any questions in the comments section below or on Google Plus. If you found this video interesting, give it a thumbs up and share it with your friends. If you haven't already, subscribe to the channel for updates. And as always, thanks for watching.